With countdown to the polls well underway, you may have some questions about the upcoming elections. Like who can vote? How can you vote? Where can you vote? Well, fear not because we've got you covered on everything you need to know for Sudbury's 2014 municipal elections. You must be 18 years old and a Canadian citizen and reside in the city of Greater Sudbury, whether that be as a tenant of land or the spouse of an owner or tenant from Sudbury. If your name is on the voters list or if you have a certificate to vote, there are several pieces of identification you can use to cast your ballot. Just make sure that the name on your identification matches the name on the list. Options include a birth certificate, old age security card, an Ontario health card, a credit or debit card, or any document issued by the Government of Canada. If your name is not on the voters list, you need a certificate to vote, or you need to change your personal information. Then you must show one piece of ID that includes both your name and residential address, like an Ontario's driver's license, a statement of government benefits, a credit card, or a utility bill. During the advanced polling from Tuesday, October 14th at 8 a.m. to Friday, October 24th at 8 p.m., you have the opportunity to vote online. All you have to do is log on to your PC, tablet, smartphone, whatever you like, and use the voter ID found in your voter information package. You will have received this package in the mail. Simply log on, use that voter ID, and you'll be asked to confirm your identity. Once you've voted, your voter identification number will then be disabled and you will no longer have access to the system. You can also choose to vote on the election bus during advanced polling as it makes its way around Greater Sudbury. The bus can be found on locations like malls, post-secondary institutions, and even a Wolves game. To find out the full bus schedule, check out greatersudbury.ca. So what will you find on the ballot? Well, you're going to be voting for mayor, your ward councillor, and school board trustees to represent the four school boards. You will be also answering three referendum questions. Are you in favor of retail business establishments having the choice to open to the public on December 26th? Are you in favor of retail business establishments having the choice to open to the public on the civic holiday the first Monday in August? And are you in favor of allowing retail business establishments to choose the hours when they are open to the public? If less than 50% vote in favor of the questions, no changes will be made and the status quo will remain the same. In 2010, the voter turnout was at 49.75%, so let's see if we can improve that for 2014. There are 10 mayoral candidates running in the race to be Sudbury's next mayor. There are also 60 candidates running for councillors of wards 1 through 12. On October 27th, voting stations open at 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And to find the locations closest to you, simply log on to greatersudbury.ca and enter in your postal code. For more election news and coverage, check out our website at northernlife.ca. And we'll see you at the polls.